Now we're going to go over the strumming pattern for this song. The pattern that I'm going to be using is the 4B Calypso strumming pattern. It sounds like this. I'm also going to be using the chunking technique, which is a palm muting technique where it sounds like this. Instead of strumming down so the strings ring out, you're going to mute the strings with the palm of your hand at the same time that you're going down. So it makes a chunking noise. Now, if you're not familiar with the strumming pattern or the chunking technique, I would practice that before we move on. Practice the strumming along without playing any chords in your left hand and practice the chunk. And once you get the hang of it, then you can move on to strumming along with the chords. Okay, so let's start at the intro. We have our D minor chord, four beats, so we're playing the pattern once. The A7 sustain four and A7 together make up one pattern. So each chord gets two beats and it sounds like this. That's a D minor. In the intro, you're playing the chord progression twice. And the second time around, you're going to go to the stop, which is a chunk, and then go on to your verse. A little note about the chord after a stop. So the stop serves as a one beat rest. So any chord that comes after a rest only gets three beats because the rest is one beat. So instead of playing D minor like you normally would, play rest so the last part of the intro on the verse sounds like this And that takes care of the intro and the verse because the rest just repeats itself. Now let's go on to the bridge. Here it's a little bit different because you're playing different chords. So let's so start with C. C and C7 together make up one pattern, very similar to A7, so that each chord gets two beats. So it sounds like this. And immediately right after that, you're playing C7 again for it, by itself for one more pattern. C7 effectively gets six beats, two when it was with C, and four when it's by itself. F is eight beats, so you're playing the pattern twice. A7 is also the same, eight beats. Now B flat and A7 at the end is a little bit different. Here I play a tremolo, which is a down up down up pattern very fast, like that. And I play it so that B flat gets the first and second beat, and there's a rest in between, and I play A7. Now how many of these up and downs do you play? It just, it's up to you, whatever sounds good to your ears. But here's how I play it. So that takes care of all the unique parts in the song. Now I want to demonstrate how to play along with the metronome. If you're not familiar with the metronome, it's a device that keeps track of the beats. It looks like this. One, two, three, four. And you can find a metronome app on almost any mobile device that you have. And there's also a computer version. So this is going to help you when you're practicing to keep the same tempo throughout the entire song. What I've noticed about the song is that it's really easy to start playing faster towards the end of the song. So using this is going to help you keep the same tempo. So I'm going to demonstrate how to play along with this at 105. Two, three, four.